Okay, this can be tricky, so listen close. For the US MLE, there are three main types of neonatal scalp swellings. Let's arrange them by severity. So two are mild, such that they self-resorb with time. One is severe and may cause life-threatening blood loss. The two mild ones are caput, succedaneum, and cephalohematoma. So how do you tell these apart? Well, the cap in caput should remind you that the bleeding will be diffusely spread. I like to think since when you wear a cap, it covers the entire skull. I also use this analogy to help me remember that its location is subcutaneous. I like to think near skin. Since it is diffusely spread, it will be soft and boggy. This resolves quickly in days because there is limited blood. On the other hand, in cephalohematoma, focus on the word hematoma, which is basically localized pooling of blood. Cephalo also makes me think of skull. So the bleeding will be localized and will not cross the suture. It will remain between the skull and the periosteum. This will resolve too, but in months instead of days. Since there is relatively more blood, it also explains the hyperbilirubinemia. Since obviously blood breaks down to form bilirubin, the neonate may present with jaundice. Now for the severe type, that is the subgaleal hemorrhage. The most important giveaway in this case is the word hemorrhage. As you know, a hemorrhage, unlike a hematoma, expands and may be life-threatening. Honestly, if you get one thing out of this clip, remember that the subgaleal will expand over days and there will be bruising over the scalp. This type is the only type with bruising over skin. And since it is diffusely spread, being a hemorrhage, it will also be soft and boggy. So I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below. See you in the next one.